Hello people, here's another Joy of Mac video. Um, and this one is about encryption. Now, uh, Apple have built in to Mac OS X, certainly for a long time, at least since 10.4, um, its own uh, encryption suite and it's in disk utility, so I have a spot like that. Disk utility. Here it comes. Okay, um, and what you basically do is create a new image here, um, and you choose uh, what you're going to save it as. Uh, let's say this is uh, encrypted. Does that have right? Encrypted folder. Uh, and you give it a name. Alt, as in stop, uh, and you say, um, you, you give it the size that you want it to do, um, and choose some encryption, whichever one you want there, um, and the best one we're told is a sparse disk image, and then you say create, And it will create that for you. And you pop in a password. This is a crappy one. It's ABBA. You don't want to remember the password in your keychain. And you do that. And then you drag something to your folder there. And then that is now password protected. If I try and open it, you eject that, and you try and open it like this from here, it will ask you to have your password, okay, which I'll put in ABBA. Yeah, you can see that. And then say okay. And that disk drive will open and away you go. All right, so that is Apple's encryption software. Um, there are better videos than mine for explaining that. However, um, it doesn't work for um, what I have to do, which is for my work, I do have to have certain um, documents. Um, if I carry them around on a USB drive, if I, because Gordon Brown's government lost um, a lot of data, uh, very sensitive data. Now, uh, education authorities have decided that teachers should not be um, run the risk of losing data. So they've um, said that if you've got a USB drive, then you've got to have some sort of encryption. The trouble is that cross-platform encryption is very rare. I've managed to find one though, um, and it's called um, uh, Kremlin because as I say this Apple software here won't work on a PC so it's only fine for Apple computers which is good all right okay so if you just want to you know uh, password protect some documents then that's fine um, Kremlin is uh, a bit more comprehensive than that it has um, a text thing here which will encrypt a text document for you it also has a secure delete recycle bin here um, but basically what you do with Kremlin, um, it's slightly different. Um, if I take a, a folder that I want to encrypt, I double click Kremlin encrypt, either from the dock or from the icon there. Um, and uh, I go to uh, whatever document it is I want to encrypt, Let's say it's on the desktop. Let's try that cooler shaker picture again like that, hit encrypt, do a password, ABBA, I mean obviously you make your password far more secure and you don't tell it out on YouTube, say encrypt, and you now have um, an encrypted cover there, uh, it has the file extension KGB, <laughs> which is quite funny. Uh, there's also an option in there which I forgot to do which is to delete the source image so let's pretend that that's gone to the trash. 
Okay, oh, let's also trash this one as well because I'm not really going to use that. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'll do, I will decrypt the source file this time. So that will decrypt that, that'll get rid of that one and um, bring up the uh, decrypted version. So here we go. All right, and there we go. That's back to there and that will open that, but I don't want to do that so I'll just quit that, okay? Um, and really that is all there is to Kremlin um, encryption. Thank goodness it's cross-platform. I've managed to buy it with one license, which is $35. Uh, the only problem is that, and there is a problem here, uh, it does seem to be very strange that um, cross-platform encryption um, it seems to be something that people don't really want to do. Um, and there doesn't seem to be an awful lot of software for it. Certainly I couldn't find any on Apple's site. This one is um, was last updated for Mac OS 10.4. Well, we're now on Mac OS 10.6. Um, Mac OS 10.4 went out in 2007 when with the introduction of um, Leopard. Uh, Windows XP will work with it. Uh, it doesn't say anything about Vista or Windows 7. Um, when I um, said to, when I sort of wrote to Kremlin and said, well, look, certain features don't work quite the way they, way they should, uh, on the Windows version, if you right click a document, uh, you will get an option to, um, to uh, encrypt it with Kremlin there. Well, that doesn't seem to work on the Mac version. And, and the chap said it's, it's, it's due to the fact that, it's temp that I'm using 10.6 and this is really meant for 10.4 and it offered me a refund. Well, I don't really think that's good enough. So <clears throat> if anyone knows a more up-to-date uh, encryption thing, because I have a, a horrible feeling that at some point um, there'll be an Apple update which will stop this working, then if anyone knows a decent one that will do that for both uh, platforms. TrueCrypt, by the way, which is a free one, uh, jiggered up my um, uh, uh, the, my folder that I was trying to um, encrypt in the first place. Um, and then it took me an awful lot of time and Googling to try and find out what the problem was. So don't use TrueCrypt. Um, so other than that, not sure um, what else to do. So anyway, I've probably been ranting along far more than 10 minutes. So uh, I'll say goodbye. Thank you.